you were given like packets of sugar, packets of like multicolored sugar with sticks also made of sugar to lick and then dip in sugar. Diabetes. Cheese was on a cracker, Vienna sausages on a stick, and Viennetta, not for you. That's for company. Your parents sent you in the backyard to throw large knives at your sibling. They're called lawn darts. It's a game. You probably had a near-death experience attempting to put six feet of bubble gum into your mouth at one time on a dare for five dollars. Five dollars, which by the way, you never saw a penny of. You probably cheated at Heads Up 7 Up by looking for people's shoes that you recognize. Tragically, you lost most of your family and a mule on the Oregon Trail. Oh, you had to forge that river. You killed several Tamagotchi. Gak. Every time you had to make an abrupt stop, your mother punched you in the sternum. You were karate chopped in an attempt to save you because she grew up without seatbelts. You would roam the neighborhood freely with feral packs of children until the lights came on. Your parents had no idea where you were. You carried a quarter in case you needed to make a phone call. When you got your Nokia brick, you felt like you had made it. When you got a light up battery for your Nokia, you felt like a god for about three minutes until it ate your battery. You knew all your friends' phone numbers. Sweet Valley High, Babysitter's Club. Sweet Valley High. You used a light bright to make pictures of penises. You went into chat rooms. I don't even know where you'd look for that now. Age, sex, location. TGIF was the greatest lineup of television that's ever happened. What's up? You called people and did that. You sold like $900 worth of magazines. To win a five pound bag of sour gummy worms, you could have bought for $7. You tried to put all the colors on a multicolor pen down at once, and you failed repeatedly. You really wanted one of those plastic circle things with a little divider bit so that you could take your oversized t-shirt with like a puff paint basket of kittens and scrunch it up through the side and like be really cool and show off your stirrup leggings. But your mom wouldn't buy you one because she was a cheapskate. You had to tie yours in a knot like a loser. You had a pretty sweet collection of pogs, actually. Like, pretty sweet. For $5, you could get 10 things from Claire's Boutique. Like a slap bracelet, or maybe some glow-in-the-dark sunglasses. Bop it, twist it. Wet and Wild, Jane. It's like Sophie's Choice. Devon Sawa, or JTT. JTT for life! Not life, but like, you know, until he stopped growing. LA looks, dippity do. Smells like, but is not, CK1. Begging for sun in and having to settle for lemon juice. Lemon juice! Lemon juice. Lemon juice. Juicy fruit? It's gonna move ya. Cause it has the taste that gets right to ya. You slow danced to My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion in a cafe gymatorium. You were so sure that closet that Cher had in Clueless was like the way of the future. And the future is disappointing. Body glitter. So much body glitter. Hair glitter. Glitter body lotion. Glitter hair gel. Glitter. Glitter. So much glitter. You summoned Bloody Mary and you know it's only a matter of time. You had a favorite koosh ball and it was not for loaning. People are not allowed to use a crayon until you have used the flat part. They are not the same when you sharpen them. You had that weird liquid plastic that came in a tube and you put it on a tiny straw and you made bubbles out of, it had to be toxic. Yeah. You used a Blockbuster card on Chaperone, what? The California Raisins were like kind of a band. Mr. Rogers, Bill Nye the Science Guy, and Bob Ross give you unrealistic expectations of the kind of men that existed in the world. Sometimes you have to rephrase a question like six times to get the right answer from a magic eight ball. You have a permanent rotator cuff injury from a very overzealous game of Red Rover. You had one of those awesome pencils that had the lead that you could pull out the end and push in the bottom and you loaned it to a friend who lost one of the pieces so it was basically garbage and you said it was no big deal. But you know what, Amber? It was a big deal. So maybe you should go sit with Jessica and Jessica A and Jesse B and Jess at lunchtime because this side of the cafe gymatorium is for people who don't lose other people's stuff. I feel like the ratio of like toaster strudel to frosting 
was just like a little bit off, a little bit, just a little bit off. You were happy when your dad quit smoking. You just wished he'd maybe waited a little longer till you had enough camel bucks to get a mountain bike. You know the anti-skip button on a disc man means nothing. Your parents bought you candy cigarettes. 